Today, we are going to compare two popular cameras, the Canon EOS R and Nikon D5000. We are going to take a look at their features, who they are for, how they perform in various use cases, user experiences, and which one is the right one for you. Links to both of the cameras will be listed in the description below. Let's get started. The Canon EOS R and the Nikon D5000 are two digital cameras that were officially introduced respectively in the 5th of September 2018 and the 12th of June 2009. Let's take a look at how their specs compare to each other. We tested both cameras to assess their performance in different scenarios. Let's take a closer look at our ratings for each of them. Here are our ratings for the Canon EOS R. For portrait photography, we will give it an 8 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. Here are our ratings for the Nikon D5000. For portrait photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 5 out of 10 rating. Next, we will take a look at some sample photos from the Canon EOS R and the Nikon D5000. Keep in mind that these photos have editing done to them, so the result from your camera might be different. Let's start with the sample photos. Here are some sample photos from the Canon EOS R. And here are some sample photos from the Nikon D5000. Next, let's take a look at what other users of these cameras have to say about them. Here's what people have to say about the Canon EOS R. The Canon EOS R is the perfect choice for an intermediate or professional photographer. It has great size, weight, and performance, and the image and video quality is excellent. It does take some time to get used to, but once you do, it's second nature. I've used it for product photography, a wedding, and landscape photos with no issues. I also purchased some additional lenses and the adapter with ND filters, and I am extremely happy with its performance. I don't see myself needing to upgrade from this camera anytime soon. I bought the Canon EOS R as an upgrade to my EOS RP, but was disappointed to find out it didn't have burst mode, which is critical for my solo photo shoots. I had to return it and ended up sticking with my fixed EOS RP, which I still love. I would recommend the RP over the R if you don't need advanced video features. Here's what people have to say about the Nikon D5000. The D5000 is a great little camera with many features and easy to use. I chose it over the D90 for its cheaper price, but ultimately the lack of autofocus motor was a deal breaker for me. I ended up exchanging it for the D90, which has all the features I wanted. If autofocus is a priority for you, go for the D90 instead. This Nikon camera requires much more light than my other Nikons, leading to slower shutter speeds and the need for constant flash indoors. It also has a lower profile flash that can cause dark rings in certain shooting situations. Overall, it's a good camera but can be challenging for indoor and low light photography. To conclude, here are our overall ratings for both of these cameras. Canon EOS R, we will give it an overall rating of 9 out of 10. Nikon D5000, we will give it an overall rating of 8 out of 10. 